Let's turn on over now to Mike Taylor with the forecast. That was a pretty cat. I know, right? Little yeah. cutie. <laughs> Looking at our temperatures right now, we're at 38 with snow showers moving through. The good news is that we are above freezing, and that goes for about all of Metro Detroit. Feels like 28, though. Winds from the northwest at 18 miles per hour with gusts up to 30 and beyond that in some spots. So it's a cold one out there across Metro Detroit. Pretty close to the freezing mark, though, from Lapeer up towards Port Sanilac, but still at 33. Winds are at 37. Down towards Monroe, you're at 39, and those rain and snow showers are still passing through Metro Detroit. Thinking the focus right now is in Washtenaw County. This goes the full length of I-94 near Saline as well as Ann Arbor, down near Milan as well. And we'll cross up over here near M59. We showed this in the first forecast here. We'll see from Lake Orion to Macomb now approaching areas like Mount Clemens and along the I-94 corridor, a few snow showers passing through. Once again, the good news is that temperatures are above freezing, so we're expecting minimal impacts on the roads. Still under the influence of that area of low pressure you see behind me, eventually high pressure is going to take over. That'll clear the skies up, but only temporarily. We have yet another system that's going to move in for the weekend. So in the meantime, numbers will actually be climbing up into the low 40s of rain and snow showers around. Eventually, as we get towards this evening for the drive home, we're expecting that system to clear out, skies recover, and they clear up. And for tonight, It'll be cold again. We're going down into the 20s, so we'll call it partly cloudy and cold, but at least the precip is going to leave us alone, at least for now, but it comes back for Saturday. Not for the morning or the afternoon. I'm thinking Saturday evening, chances of rain and snow is only going to increase. Once again, temperatures are expected to be well above freezing, so only minimal impacts on the roads, which is some good news. Here's a look at that system for Saturday night. See, it's mostly showing rain here, but there is still a chance that we could have some snowflakes mixed in with that as temperatures begin to cool down. And starting your Sunday, more snow showers could move in Sunday morning, and it should clear out as we get towards the afternoon, and temperatures will slowly recover. So your Sunday forecast will climb up near 50 degrees, slight chance of seeing some snow early in the morning, then after that skies are going to recover. Temperatures are going to be near average, and Sunday is the only te technically we'll say slightly dry day for the afternoon. But the precip for the afternoon chances only go up into next week. So Sunday afternoon will probably be one of the drier stretches of weather that we'll have. And we'll see things recover here as far as the precip goes. So rain and snow possible on Monday, highs near 50. And we'll have a chance of rain just about every single day next week with a high near 60 by next Wednesday. We'll be back after this.